Welcome! This is a tutorial on how to install Ubuntu Touch on the Nexus device. Go to wiki.ubuntu.com slash touch slash install. On this website you can find the information on what are the supported devices and how to install the device. In the step one, you are going to install the tools required to do the installation itself. In the step two, you are going to unlock your device. And in step three, you are going to enable USB debugging on the Android side. On step four, you are going to install the Ubuntu on your de device. So, um, after you have the Ubuntu on the device, you might want to go to developer.ubuntu.com forward slash get dash started forward slash go mobile. In here, in the step one, after you have scrolled down, you can see the actions what are required to install the Ubuntu SDK on your workstation. After you have installed the SDK, there is one package which you might want to install as well and that is the showcase package so in the terminal you need to install the uh, Qt dash components dash ubuntu dash examples package which contains which contains the uh, showcase after that you can find the showcase from the dash by writing the word showcase. This contains all the components what there are available for the Ubuntu Touch and uh, I highly recommend this one to just go through all the different bits and pieces and to see what you actually have available for your own application. One thing is also the design documents which are available at design.ubuntu.com slash apps so in here so this is also one thing to see and uh, you can find also the, all the uh, API documents from the developer.ubuntu.com slash API slash Ubuntu dash 12 dot 10 slash QML slash mobile slash overview dash Ubuntu dash SDK dot HTML so this is the um, Ubuntu SDK, um, sorry, Ubuntu UI Toolkit documentation. So in, there is also a Launchpad project for this. So launchpad.net slash Ubuntu dash UI dash toolkit. And you can find the source code and you can get it to your own machine by copy pasting this command to a terminal and pressing enter. Um, you can find also the source code for the showcase uh, from the branch from the demos folder and also in the examples you can find few example files. Um, previously you installed the Ubuntu SDK so you have actually the Qt Creator which is the uh, main developer IDE for the Ubuntu Touch. If you have connected your device you can find it from the devices tab and you can a press a button here to enable the developer mode. Um, after you have pressed the device enable developer mode button it will do everything for you so you, you, you shouldn't be able <laughs> you should be able to do everything <laughs> again but everything should be fine for the development after that. Um, from the menus you can find all the links to um, documents and launchpad. From the tools Ubuntu you can find the uh, international stuff and also a device related stuff for example you can take a screenshot from the device and it will open on on the workstation and you can toggle the power state and stuff um, you should also be able to find the file new and Ubuntu application templates few for tests and some for apps if you don't find these ones the issue is in the tools options build and run cute versions and in here this automatic detection actually finds for me to 4.8. Uh, you might need to re-select QMake 
and after that you will see the 501 here press apply and press ok and after that you, you should be able to see Ubuntu here and then you can select the tabs, template which is a good one um, just go there and then when it's open you can uh, press Ctrl R to get it up and running and that's the simple app Hello World in a few minutes uh, one interesting um, to mention is the application name so this variable here should match this desktop file name so these should be equal values otherwise in the device the HUD won't detect your application properly and you won't be able to kill the app using the HUD so that's the reason for that one the object name is for the functional testing purposes so that you can find the object in hand in the unit, in the unit test case or in the functional test case so that's about it. Thank you.